Hey, welcome to this two minute tutorial for The Breach by Dustin Tibbet. It's one of my favourite songs and I really hope you enjoy learning it. There's two parts to learn, there's the verse and the chorus, both really similar with chords and rhythm patterns. Um, I'll go through it fairly quickly, so try to keep up. Hit the space bar if you need to pause it, or the left arrow key to go back and review what you've learnt. I'll go through it and then I'll play it at full speed. So I have your guitar handy and let's get to the lesson. Okay, so standard tuning, capo first fret. Let's do the chords that you're going to use first of all. Um, I'm going to talk as if they aren't using the capo. So for example, this is A minor seventh chord shape. Um, technically with the capo, it's B flat minor seventh, but I'm going to talk as if the capo isn't there. Okay, so A minor seventh shape, which means you've got D second fret, G open, B1, E open, playing from the A string. Then all we're going to do is going to keep that shape and add different root notes. So now we add E third fret from the capo for what is basically a G chord. You need to mute the A string by lightly touching it with this new finger you've added. So E string, muted A string the same notes beneath that. Now we add the thumb. You don't have to use the thumb but if you're comfortable with it it will make it a much easier transition. So the thumb frets on the E string first fret um, which is essentially an F chord. Again muting the A string and then we go back to the G. So those are your chords. Here's the rhythm. It's going to be like this. A string, strum, up stroke, hammer on the D string. So we take this finger off and plant it back on the D string. So it sounds like this. And you want to palm mute it. Palm muting is where the side of your palm on the firmest bit goes right by the bridge as far across as you can to dampen the strings. that four times. Um, when you're palm muting, don't push down too hard, just enough to dampen it slightly. And that rhythm we transfer to the other chords, so now we add E third fret. And then E first fret. verse. Um, feel free to play along with me as I play it through in full. One, two, three, four. So if you can play that, you are more than likely going to be able to play the chorus. The chorus comes in at 55 seconds and it comes in again later in the song. Um, what's tricky about this bit is the it feels a bit random with the, the time signatures. So on the sheet music on my Patreon, you will see that each beginning of the line starts with a bar that's two beats. And then the rest of the, that line of music is four beats per bar. Um, so let's go through it line by line. You've got the chords you need changes slightly. So here's how it will sound. So what we had is this little bit at the beginning, A, G, and then four lots of the A chord with the same part you've done before. Two, three, four. That's the first line of music. The next line of music is Fairly similar. Um, we're going to do A once more, but this time we're going to do four lots of G. The third line of music is going to be a little different again. We do A, G, and then F with the thumb four times. Last 
lastly, we're going to go back to the same part you just did actually. So A, G, F. Then you repeat everything you've just done for the chorus. So imagine you've played it through once. Try to play along with me as I repeat it all again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Imagine you've done that twice to finish off with the lead guitar that comes in um, to tail off that chorus. It's the same again. So A, G, F. And then the next line, which is the last line on your page of music, which would look like this. Oh, sorry, let me do that again. So A, G, F. That one's the most different. There's a few chord changes in that part where I didn't do four lots of one chord. There was a mixture. And then what you do is you repeat what you've just done in that section. So imagine you've played that all through once. Again, try and play along with me on this repeat. After four, one, two, three, four. tails off with G, F, four times. Now because the chorus is more complicated, um, I'm going to put it to the music now, so try to play along with the next part with the song. So here comes the chorus. Thank you. 